What is going on you quality lot? Quality XA here today and today I am bringing you guys a brand new video and today we are talking about the new Flashpoint as well as Silent and we've also got some different news on Titan Bubbles as well as the Sun Singer's Resurrect ability. So I'm not going to hold you back, let's get right into this so starting off with the flashpoint so destiny 2 invites even solo pve players to try something a bit special each week destiny 2 introduces a couple of new activity types including the one we're hearing about for the first time this week speaking to kotaku in a podcast destiny 2 director luke smith described a new weekly event called flashpoints Flashpoints are designed to drive Destiny 2 players to a particular destination each week. That means either Earth, Io, Nessus or Titan. There they will discover activities like treasure maps and special enemies. The nature of this event should mean you find plenty of other players having a crack at the baddies. The rewards earned from playing Flashpoints are high level, equivalent to something like a Nightfall reward or raid from the original Destiny, Smith said. Specifically, that even solo Destiny 2 players can participate, so you won't need to matchmake to get your hands on it, which is very cool indeed. Smith didn't go into too much detail on what Destiny 2 players might have to do to earn their Flashpoint loot, maybe tick off a set of checklists or activities, or just rack up a certain number of Noble Ds, as with the Rise of Irons weekly PvE quest. There could also be quests on certain bosses to kill, which will be interesting to see how that works out. Smith also mentioned an activity known as Silent. We'll be making a return in Destiny 2. It sounds like he means those times when the enemies in the area would move against each other, which was good fun. Yeah, so it'd be very interesting to see what this activity Silent actually means. Like they said, it was move against each other, so it could be such as a little challenge mode where you have to fight different types of enemies that are also trying to kill each other, which sounds pretty awesome indeed. But regardless, Flashpoint does sound like an awesome weekly game mode where we can earn some epic, epic loot. Hopefully, some exotics are going in with that bunch of loot. Very cool indeed. Now we're talking about Titan Bubbles, and this is an interview with another Bungie staff member. So this was the question. Are Titan Bubbles still in the game? Yes, everyone thought they were gone for a while. I thought they were gone too. And I think that the Titan Bubble has this amazing property of it's like a mistake. You can put in the world, or something amazing you can put in the world as a player. And it's like you're physically altering the gameplay space in a way that I think is pretty exciting. It's one of the things that a Sentinel can do in Destiny 2. So it's very, very cool. Having the Titan Bubbles is genuinely phenomenal and a big help in key things such as playing for a raid or a hard strike with some different modifiers that are just going to eat away at you that week. We've also got some news about the Sun Singer's Resurrect ability on why was it not included in Destiny. Because I think that the challenge of choosing when to resurrect is not as interesting because it ends up your super bar is always full, waiting is not gameplay. So it is pretty cool that they've taken it away although I think the self res was a phenomenal ability, one of the most usability in my arsenal anyway purely because as a Warlock I wasn't the best class player with a Nova Bomb, but hey, that's just me. We've also got some news about Crucible matches. Will they come out with private matches at launch? We know that they will not, unfortunately, which sucks because obviously Destiny 1 had private matches, so taking that feature away is a bit weird, but they do say it will not be available at launch, so I can imagine a little way through the game, that is when we will get it. So very, very cool indeed. And yeah, just a little bit more news on the ranked PvP. As you guys know, there was some mention of ranked PvP in some interviews, but we have a good answer here. We're not doing ranked PvP. We're seven, eight weeks away from finishing. We have an idea of something we might do. I don't want to commit to it here because I'm not sure it's going to happen. If we don't get it for September the 6th, there'll be something, some way of players showing off their prowess to other players, which is ultimately what a ranking system is. We're working on something. 
So pretty cool. I do hope that they have ranked PvP. Personally, I'm a competitive player versus player. And um, I, I do enjoy playing the Crucible. Definitely one of my best PvP experiences of gaming. Just the way that the classes work and how the different weapons work against different people. And how you can literally have a completely different setup to the people that you're playing. I just really enjoy how Crucible does work. I know we've had some bad times with bad metals. But regardless, Destiny is still one of the best PvP games I have played. And yeah, that's pretty much the video guys. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like on this video. 50 likes would be much appreciated. I've also got the links of these two articles if you'd like to check them out. And as always, peace out. I hope you enjoyed.